Hi dear students, hope you all are well. I know you must be missing your school, teachers and loving friends. So do I. Now let's start our maths class. In your maths class today we will learn about three digit numbers. You all know that the number system is based on groups like ones, tens, hundreds and so on. In your previous class you learned to write one and two digit numbers using two places, ones and tens. Now we will learn to write three digit number using hundreds place also. In your previous class you have learned to write one digit numbers and two digit numbers using two places, ones and tens. Now we will learn to write three digit numbers using a extra place that is hundreds. But before studying three digit numbers, I would like to recall you some facts about two digit numbers. The smallest two digit number is 10 and the greatest two digit number is 99. Now if we add 1 to the greatest two digit number that is 99, it will become 100 which is the smallest three digit number and we can read it as 100. So the third digit from the left is said to be at hundreds place. So this is at hundreds place, this is at tens place and this is at ones place. And to read a three digit number, we will first read the hundreds place and then tens and ones place together. And it is read as one hundred. As there is no tens and ones. The three digit numbers start from 100 as it is the smallest three digit number. Then it followed by 101, 102, 103 and so on. It proceeds up to 999 as there is no three digit number after 999. So children, what do we learn? We learned that 999 is the greatest three digit number now we will write the number name of this number here 2 is at hundreds place so we will write 200 5 is at tens place that means 50 so we will write 50 and 6 is at ones place that is 6. So the number names become 256. Now let us write number names of these two given numbers. Look here 7 is at hundreds place. So we will write 700. So we will write 6 in hundreds place, 
80 means 8 tens. So we will write 8 in tens place and 7 means 7 ones. So we will write 7 in ones place. So the number becomes 687. Now look at the next number. Here we have 300. So we will write 3 in the hundreds place and 10. That means 1 10. So we will write 1 in the tens place. Look, but there is no ones. So we will put a zero in the ones place. So the number becomes 310. That is 310. Now we will learn to write the numbers in expanded form and short form. But before that we have to know the place value chart in detail. Now let us start. Look, here we have made a place value chart of hundreds, tens and ones. Now let us write a number 3, 4, 1. Here it is at hundreds place. So the place value of 3 is 3 into 100. That is 300. Okay. Now look, 4 is at tens place. So place value of 4 is 4 into 10 equals to 40. And 1 is at ones place. So, place value of 1 is 1 into 1 equals to 1. Now, what do you understand by expanded form? Expanded form means to write the number as the addition of place value of its digits. Now, let us write this number as expanded form. Here, we have 500. So, we can write 500. Plus six tens as there is six in tens place and four ones okay we can also write these as the sum of its place values that is 500 plus 60 plus 4 so this is the expanded form of this number I hope expanded form is clear to you all. Now we will learn to write the short form of a number. When we add the place values of a number, we get the short form. Let us take an example. 500 plus 60 plus 3. So we have 500. So we will write 5. 6 tenths. We will write 6 and 3 ones. So we will write 3. So we get 5, 6, 3. Now this is the way to write the short form of any number. Now let us take two examples. Look, here we have 700. So, we will write 7 in the hundreds place. 20. So, we will write 2 in tens place. And 9 means 9 ones. So, we will write 9 in ones place. Now, this is last. Here we have 600. So, we will write 6 in hundreds place. 0 tens. So, we will put a 0 in tens place. And 5 ones. So, we will write 5 here. So, the number becomes 605. So, I hope you understand the process of writing short form of any number. So, students, I hope you understand the topics that we have discussed today. So, students, this is enough for today. I will explain the rest of the chapter in the next video. Till then, keep practicing all this. Thank you.